CBS 46 investigates a Metro Atlanta booting business with dozens of unanswered complaints and an F rating. The Better Business Bureau issued a consumer alert for Castle Parking Solutions after the company failed to respond to the complaints. Our Adam Murphy began looking into this company after he became a booting victim. Adam is live in Buckhead with the details on this. First, I don't believe that you've become a booting victim, Adam. Yeah. Not you. No, couldn't be, right? Everybody says that. That's right, Thomas. I tried to bring my family in for some lunch. We thought we'd come into Buckhead on Sunday. It was a beautiful day. Then I paid for a parking, or at least I thought I did, and that's when my troubles began. Here we go. Space 38. Start payment. It's no surprise that you have to pay for parking in the city of Atlanta. I attempted to do just that during a visit to Buckhead over the weekend. But when I returned to my car, I noticed not one, but two boots, which cost me $75 to remove. You tell me why you guys have that up there if you're not even going to use it. And you know it doesn't work, right? So I questioned the booter with Castle Parking Solutions since the parking meter didn't work. And that's when things got heated. Why aren't you fixing the machine? It's got a P on it for parking. It turns out the Better Business Bureau has received more than 120 complaints for Castle Parking Solutions, and the company has an F rating for failing to respond. You don't even know if they're really telling the truth, because you have these people show up telling you that you owe money, and you know, normal city parking is free on Sundays. So is it deceptive? It probably is. Deceptive is putting it mildly. Mark Broomfield Rennie was also a booting victim. Same company, different lot. The young lady said, if you want your car back today, you got to give me $75. If you had parked in the 15 minute parking spot, I wouldn't have booted you. So CBS 46 went to the address for the booting business on Cumberland Boulevard, but it was nothing more than a virtual office, making it virtually impossible to track down a manager. And we're all really stuck. There's nothing we can do. We can't find them. Nobody will return phone calls. The Better Business Bureau has tried and they won't respond to that either. What are we supposed to do? Well, the booting guy told me I should have read a small sign that was on the lot there. Of course, I would have done that if I'd seen it. He said that sign told me I could have paid by app. Now, the Better Business Bureau is telling people to go ahead and download the Park Mobile app right away to avoid this headache that a lot of people seem to be going through when they come down here to park. And they're also calling on the city of Atlanta to take a stronger stance on these booting businesses. Lavin Buckhead, Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News. Yeah, it's not very welcoming. Thank you, Adam.